Reddit, we have all heard guys' stories of getting caught masturbating. But, we rarely hear of the flip side of the coin. Ladies, have you ever been caught twiddling your jelly bean? Conversely, has anyone caught a girl in the act? When I started masturbating, I wrote it in my diary because there was no way that was going to bite me in the ass, right? And my mom found it while she was cleaning my room. Talk about awkward. Not quite in the act, but one day I was awakened by my aunt and she remarked on the unusual position of my hand. I had been jilling off and had fallen asleep with my hands still inside my panties. Talk about awkward. I was around 9 or 10 and had just started exploring. So after a shower, I would sit on the toilet cover right across from the tub and just poke around. One time, my mother does the I knocked one time, so I'm coming in to see if I'm done. With my feet still perched on the tub and my legs spread open, I stare wide-eyed at her and immediately grab the crossword puzzle next to me on the counter. She said oops and closed the door. I think she knew, partly because I wasn't even holding a pen for the crossword. I was 16. Mom randomly decides to open my door and turn on the light in the middle of the night. Also, I should mention that it was a warm summer night, so I wasn't covered by blankets. That was so awkward, she came back like 15 minutes later and gives me the talk on how it's normal to do that and everyone does it. When I was still a teenager living with my parents, I was caught once by my brother. See, my parents had an open door policy where our doors had to be open at all times unless we were changing and depending on how long that took, you may get a visitor to make sure you were okay. I was enjoying a new purchase of a vibrator when my little brother walked into my room in the middle night. Luckily it was too dark for him to see anything, but I had to come up with a reason for the vibrating noise, claiming it was my cell phone. Needless to say after that I partook in the shower more than my bed. A few years back my family hosted an exchange student and I had to share my room with her. I ended up with very little privacy, so whenever she was gone, I'd take the opportunity to have a bit of happy time. I thought she was out one pretty sunny day, so I got right to it and she walked in about 10 minutes later to witness me half naked, legs spread and going at it fervently on my bed. Yeah, we didn't talk much after and I opted to sleep on the couch the rest of that year. When I first discovered masturbating, I did it all the time. Weird thing is, I can't have multiple orgasms, so I have a refractory period of sorts. I have one, immediately want to fall asleep and can't go at it again for at least 15 minutes. So, when I first started I would go at it like 3 to 5 times a day, just disappearing into my room, orgasming, then taking mini naps. Rinse and repeat. Somewhere along the lines I think my mom caught wind of what was going on. One day she was knocking on my door, I didn't have a lock, and she got the usual frantic, give me a second. She said are you masturbating? I said no, but, she knew. She knew. Edit. My roommate and boyfriend also caught me. One day I woke up horny as hell for whatever reason and saw, or thought I saw, that my roommate had gone to class. I masturbated all the way to completion, a good 3 to 5 minutes, then collapsed back into sleep. About 15 minutes later I heard her get up, get dressed quickly, and leave. We never spoke about it, but things were kind of weird between us for a while after that. I was sharing a room with a male colleague and couldn't get to sleep. Looked over to his bed and saw that he was sound asleep. Stuck my hand under the blankets and started flicking the bean, about 10 minutes later I was getting right into it, and I heard, do you want a hand with that? Turns out he wasn't asleep. As I am really good at dealing with awkward situations, I did the only logical thing, squealed and fell out of the bed, panties still around my ankles. I stayed on the floor for about 5 minutes, hoping that I would somehow disappear. Then got up to see him still shaking with silent laughter, only for him to burst out laughing when he saw my beat red face. He managed to get out of where you wanking? And I was able to explain myself I couldn't sleep, he shrugged and said fair enough, then rolled over and went back to sleep. A girl that lives down the hall from me in the dorms walked in on her roommate watching porn and pleasing herself. She immediately went to the RA and they went straight to the hall director. They are no longer roommates. I taught my wife how to orgasm. Once she learned how to do it she was like a 15-year-old male. I caught her a few times. No big deal. She has caught me more. So this was when I was first experimenting with things down there, not sure on my age, pretty young though, maybe around 7. I had a stuffed animal in between my legs and was sort of humping squirming around, and my nan walks in. 
I lived with her and my pop and uncles at the time so it could have been worse, but she then smacked my arse. After that I didn't even think about masturbating again until I was about 13. Makes me cringe just thinking about it now and I'm 25. My sister caught me humping my giant teddy bear when I was 8. She ran and told mom. I spent the rest of that day hiding in my room from shame. The bitch. My sister went into my closet to look for a curling iron. She picked up my vibrator instead and asked, why is this soft? Realized what she had touched and ran out of the room screaming. I grew up in a house where there were no locks on the doors, we all had to share rooms with siblings, and my mom was nosy as hell. I was 18, so fucking horny, my little sister was actually gone at a friend's house, I had just gotten out of the shower, was sitting on my bed with a towel wrapped around me, and a smooth handled hairbrush in my hand. I started thinking about how I could fuck that brush, I was so horny my pussy was throbbing begging to be penetrated. I sat, with my hair wet, toes twiddling, looking at that brush thinking of all the slutty things I would do to it. Just then my mother bursts in, and even though I was only holding the brush and not doing anything sexual with it at all, I flung the brush with all my might across my bedroom and it collided with my dresser mirror and cracked it. My mom got the most disgusted look on her face and yelled, while pointing at my crotch, that I had to buy a new brush and mirror. And stormed out, slamming the door behind her. You wanna know why I had sex before marriage mom? Because you guys made it impossible and unacceptable to give into to healthy urges in my own goddamned bedroom. I drive a tractor trailer, and at least twice a year, I look down in traffic and see a woman using a vibrator on her morning commute. There was a girl in a math class I took who would sit in the second to last row and masturbate all class period. There were only two people who sat behind her, me and some other guy, so we were the only two who saw. We never missed that class. Later I found out she was a lesbian. I think she had a crush on the extremely attractive female instructor. Edit. I should probably mention that this didn't happen every day. Maybe once every other week or so. I just remember it happened several times. I kinda made it sound like it was an expected part of every day. Driving home from work one day and got stuck in a major backup due to an accident down the road. So to make time go by a little bit better, hiked up my skirt a bit and started going to town. Don't know how long I was going at it, but I heard someone knocking on the glass to see if my car was alright, because traffic had cleared up and I was blocking a lane. I was a pro at stealth masturbating because I was paranoid about my parents catching me, even though it never happened. I only ever did it at night, under the covers, and made minimal noise if any. My mum did once walk in on me, attempting to shave my pubes once, when I was about 13. God was that awkward. Leg up on the bathtub, razor in one hand, mirror in the other when she knocks on the door. My mother's door knocks were not, may I come and knocks, they were more like in exactly one second I am coming in regardless, yay. So I hear the knock and panic. I drop the razor and mirror into the bath and grab the nearest object, a shower cap, to cover myself with. She walks in, stares from my face to my crotch and back again about three times, and then walks back out without a word. Later on she tried to casually inform me about what pubic hair is for and why it shouldn't be shaved off, as if she'd never seen a thing, but she knew. She knew. I'm a girl, and I went on holiday with a good friend, also a girl, and her parents when I was around 16. It was a camping holiday, and me and my friend shared a double air mattress and duvet for the two weeks we were there. It was a fabulous holiday, until the fourth or fifth last day before we left, when I got woken up, I am a ridiculously light sleeper, by my friend, digging for treasure one night. Needless to say I lay still and silent until she had found and released the pearl in her clam, and given it the freedom it deserved, but it was one of the most uncomfortable situations I have ever been in, and even now, nearly 10 years later I still haven't said a word. My husband, before he was my husband, walked in on me in the shower with the shower wand. A huge grin washed over his face and he said, need help? I asked him to marry me shortly after that accidental discovery. When I was about 12, we used to have to go visit our great aunt in the nursing home. She lived in a dormitory style room with seven other senescent roommates, one of whom was an 80-something woman who would sit in a wheelchair with her hands under a blanket, panting and moaning. My older brother later told me she was flicking the raisin. TLDR. I still can't eat raisins. Hey guys thank you so much for watching this video. Do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss anything.